<laughs> How's it going, bros? My name's Tina Pasta, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Zeta version. I don't know why I do that uh, mock PewDiePie intro pretty often, but I do. I did a lot of healing off screen with some money, so. Oh my gosh, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb right now. Alright. Oh my goodness, look at those trees. How do they do that? Oh yeah. There's like different levels, even though there's really no way of telling the different levels, so that's kind of neat. Because this is supposed to be like in the air, over water, and you can't get to the water because you're in the air. Makes sense. Hope it does, because we're done. I'm done explaining it. Oh, there's a lot of bird types here, including Staravia, who is actually the first po- well, Starly is the first Pokemon I ever caught. Fun fact of the day. Because I was given whatever starter I used. I honestly don't remember which one that was. But, wait, what move did I use? Did it just use Gust or something? Because that makes no sense. Why? How was I on Bone Emmering? Oh, I did use Gust. Okay. That did a lot of damage. Why am I, like, dead? Holy cow, why is he dead? What move did you use? Alright, well, that's dumb. Do I have any repels? Do I have repels? I have repels. Let's use the super ones first because, I don't know, why not? What's up, dude? I'll push you off this bridge and you'll die. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, what I was talking about earlier was something, if I can remember. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, S Starly was the first Pokemon I ever caught in Pokemon Diamond. That was the first game I ever played, and I don't remember who my starter was. I feel like it was Piplup, though, because my cousin had a copy of the game, and I, like, fiddled around with it, and he, he had an Empoleon, and I thought it was so cool. So when I actually got the game, I got a Piplup because I thought it was cool. And you know what? It was cool. I was the coolest. Your Raticate did way too much damage. I'm disappointed in myself. You know what? I have to heal. I have to, or else I'm going to die, and I don't want to die. And I'm almost out of my potion, so screw you. Oh, oh, out of super potions. Wonderful. Screw you guys. I'm getting this Pokeball. A rare candy. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Rare candies. I always find rare candies, and I never even use them. Because I prefer just raising my Pokemon. It's weird. Do 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 do. Hello. You'll catch anything. I can't catch anything. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, are you poaching? I thought he said like I'll catch anything and I'll blame you. And I'm like, what? Are you not allowed to fish here? Luminion. See, this is that. Actually, that was probably a long time ago, but I do remember I mentioned this. There's these fish Pokemon that no one ever uses because they're just boring, and this is one of them. <laughs> Luminion, basically just a fish. It evolves. Ah, I bit my tongue. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it evolves from Finian. Finian and Ferb. You know? Why are you such a noob? Holy cow, I can't even kill you. No one even likes you. Why am I faster? I didn't know I was faster, but I am. Heck yeah. Who's next? Slow King? Okay. You know what? A signal beam should do a lot. Hopefully. Aw, oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, did a lot. I'm happy with that. Zen headbutt. You missed, cause you suck and you don't practice. Signal beam once more. Slow kings are weird. Here's a question. How come when you put a shelter? Okay, here's a, here's an even better question. In the anime, you have to get a shelter to bite a slowpoke's tail for it to evolve. One of the weirdest, coolest evolutions in my opinion. But in the game, that's not even how it works. You just get your slowpoke to a certain level, and bam, a shelter pops up on its tail. But another weird thing, that thing on its tail doesn't even look like a shelter. It doesn't look like a shelter at all. It looks like it's an own, its own Pokemon. So why is it known as a shelter, you know? Or maybe it could be the evolution of shelter, but that doesn't make any sense because Cloyster doesn't look anything like it. So these are the, I ask the tough questions here on my videos. 
someone explain that to me or make a hack where Shelter can evolve into anything and the way to get Slowpoke is to have a Slowpoke and a Shelter next to each other you fight something, levels up one boom they like mute like form together I don't even know, that'd be cool what if they did that? I would buy the game no I wouldn't I would watch videos of it on YouTube and get a ROM for it illegally that's how I roll <laughs> I haven't bought a Pokemon game in a long time and when I do it's never on release date I get it like cheapo used because that's how I roll dog uh, so swaggy because this game's got me in the mood you're trying to catch a rare Pokemon on this route oh my gosh it's probably a Skarmory I bet you there's a Skarmory somewhere on this route Dodrio oh my goodness look at the sad one and the there's one over there just kinda looks whatever and then you got the angry one in the middle going alright enough of that let's send out Roxy to throw some rocks on this fool cause Roxy rocks with rocks you know you, you guys know Roxy's rock rocks Roxy's rocks rock okay Roxy's rocks rock let's try saying that 15 times backwards fast go Rockside will kill. Hopefully, it will. Oh. Oh, you're making an uproar. You need to just calm down, Dodrio. You're just you're just making a fool of yourself. Looks like I'm out of potions, so everyone's got to just survive from now on. No more heals. Everyone's just got to nut up and be a man, okay? Which will be tough for Roxy cuz she doesn't have nuts, but you know, I've got I've got faith in her. Why are you faster? Actually, it makes sense why she's faster. Dodrio is supposedly the second fastest Pokemon in first gen behind only Rapidash. How do I know that? Because I saw it on the anime. Gosh, probably not true anymore. So Raptor is next. Why would I switch? Why, what am I doing? Get back, get back in there. Get in there! Alright, Staraptor is a fighting type, which is weird because it's bird, but that's how, that's how this bird likes to... See, there it is. I knew it. I'm dying. Oh my gosh, why did that do no damage? Roxy, you are a tank. I don't even know how you're a tank, but you are. I remember Straptor's close combats just being like the end of the world. You get hit by one of them and you just get, no matter what, you die. And That one did a lot more. What the heck? That kind of sucks. Alright, it's got really weak defenses right now, so I'm going to try something. We're gonna quick attack it and see if this kills. It, it did. Oh, I've heard that many times from my own star after dying. <laughs> Alright, who we got next? Haunt Crow. Haunt Crow. Haunt Crow. Mr. Krabs. Get out there. Off screen, I used an ether on the bubble beam so I can actually use bubble beam again because that's like his good move. Okay, I didn't even do that much. So we're not going to use Bell Beam anymore. Nasty plot. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He's, he's pl plotting something up nasty. Metal Claw does about the same amount as Bell Beam. So we'll just use another Metal Claw. Boom, Shakalaka. You are dead. That was neat. I liked how you struggled. Who is next? Love the experience. My goodness. Apparently you have no one else next. You have some overalls though that are nice. Wait, how is anyone supposed to get to that thing out there? Oh, I can't go down right there. Are we at the end of the route? We're at the end. No, we're not. It was a lie. It was just rare candy. Calm down. There's a platform right there that I don't know how you can get to. Ah, oh, rebel. Yes, I want to use another one. I didn't realize I had one. I was like, man, I'm getting so lucky. <laughs> and then I have a rebel up. See that one you can't even get to unless you can surf, which you can't, so I don't know what that platform's deal is. But okay. This guy wants to fight. Look at him, he's like he just he just wants to fight me apparently. He's got a Kecleon, that's kinda cool. I have a perfect plan. I'm gonna side beam it, and it's gonna become a psychic type because it's dumb. It doesn't understand that I'm a bug type, so I'm gonna bug beam it and kill it. Even though it's not called Bug Beam, it's called Signal Beam. <laughs> Shadow Sneak. Oh, you sneaky little guy. Oh, you have a sub-up? I didn't even notice. <laughs> didn't even notice. 
Aw, oh, poop. Alright, this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna play an oyer. Poison powder. Become a poison type. I wanna see. Okay, he can't do that. You can't do that. Side beam. Boom. Didn't do much, because you're a psychic type now. Substitute. Why would you... Oh. Well, actually... Poison will damage... Oh, man, I didn't know that's how it works, but okay, that's, that's wonderful. Level 44. Look at Fluffy go. Uh-oh, Golem, or Gollum, as Lord of the Rings calls him. Time to get Belly back out there. I haven't seen Belly in a while. Like, this whole episode, there's just been a lack of Belly. So, oh, my arms are just tight right now from swimming so much backstroke today. I don't even understand. I use Grass Knot. And it's gonna work, cause Gol cause Golem's a fatty, so that <laughs> that's awesome. Swimming, let's see, two, three, six, seven hundred meters, not yards, meters. I didn't even read what he's sending out. A backstroke straight is no fun, no fun at all. You don't understand swimming, just it's just no fun. How can I even like put this? It's like running seven laps on a track backwards. Because 100 meters is equivalent in energy use to a 400 meter dash, which is, um, like, you know, one lap on a track. And I just say backwards because you're going backwards the whole time, and that's no fun. <laughs> it's nice because you can breathe a lot, but you're always splashing water in your nose, and you're like, <laughs> the entire time, there's nothing up here. And you're swallowing water, and you finish, and you're just, you're just dying. And then you're like, oh, well, you have a... You have a good old three seconds of rest, and now you got your next one. And it's just, it's horrible. Because it was a 50, a 100, a 200, just three times. That doesn't add up to 700, does it? <laughs> what does that add up to? Three, six, nine. Oh, man, it was 1,050. Make that 10 laps on a track backwards. My goodness. All right, this guy is going to have, like, that ability where when, he, when he's poisoned, he gets stronger. So I'm not going to poison him. I know my Pokemons. And Swallow, Swallow happens to be one of them Pokemons. I like Swallows. Swallows are cool. I just wish they had a middle evolution. Every other, oh my goodness, I'm faster somehow. So I'll just keep rolling with it. Every gen except second and third gen flying type had three evolutions. Ex yeah, isn't that weird? But Hoot Hoot, Noctowl, and Swallow, and Taylo don't. Even though Hoot Hoot Knocked Out is kind of different. I don't know. I don't consider them the same because they're owls. Owls are weird. <laughs> Man, it's 341. It's not even late yet. I'm so used to being like, oh my gosh, why did I do this? That's what happens when you don't read what's coming out next and you just kind of go. You think, oh, well, this guy's strong, so I should be fine. And then bam, launch grow. Oh my gosh, predicting the switch out and everything. Holy cow, I'm going to romp, stomp, and humiliate you. Maybe you'll flinch. Maybe I'll get crits. All right, that this works. Didn't even get to attack me. Sweet. Look at that. That was just heavenly right there. Uh, Pidgeot. Oh my goodness, you've got these birds, dog. I like Pidgeots. They're pretty cool. They're like just giant birds with... Dragon Ball Z, Double Saiyan hair. I actually don't know if it's called Double Saiyan, but it's when the he's like a Super Saiyan, and then he like he screams a while, and his hair grows, and he's like and got like lightning shooting around him. And then he fights Majin Buu and loses, you know that that kind of Saiyan. Quick attack! Oh yeah, that's how we roll. That was wonderful. Who is next? You gonna throw anyone else out? No, you're not. You don't even know what you're doing, brah. Alright. Well, we've been going for a while, and we're not even done with this route. So, next episode, maybe we'll finish the route? I don't know. It's just, we've just been going forever, it seems like. Oh my gosh, he saw me. Looks like we are going to continue <laughs> this episode. How did he even look down? I didn't know he could look down. He's only got one Pokemon. Oh, it's a Skarmory. That's pretty cool. Not a favorable matchup right there. Mr. Krabs, get out there. Yeah, yeah, get out there. Yeah, yeah. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wop. He sent out some spikes. That's kind of neat. 
Let's see here. I can't use Stomp. Metal Claw will probably not do much, and probably honestly won't do much either. But Stab. And that's what I like. And for those of you who don't know, Stab means same type attack bonus. So if a water type uses a water type move, you get something like 1.25 times added on to the damage. Which is good. It might, it might be 1.5, but I feel like it's 1.25. But yeah, that's nice. It didn't even die. Gosh. You're a butt. What do I have more PP of? Metal Claw. Metal Claw it is. So long, Skarmory. You wound up getting an episode 33 after all. Alright guys, now I'm going to call it a video, so comment, like, subscribe, I will see you all next time.